This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe and help get this video to 2,000 likes. And I see. DW takes over the show to tell everyone just how awful Arthur is, like how he selfishly demands privacy and has the utter gall to be slightly overweight. DW goes to the Tibble tryhards for advice on how to deal with her brother. The diabolical duo tell her to hypnotize him into being her personal slave. They also suggest she should wait until he becomes a famous pianist and then ruin his concert by showing up late and eating loud snacks which seems way too evil even for DW standards. DW shoots down their terrible ideas, calling them both goopy heads. The Tibble turds gaslight DW into thinking she's the greatest insult comic on two legs. DW tries out her weak-ass insults on her brother, only to get decimated by the level 20 Roastmaster. You're not the boss of me, Mr. Goopy! DW, please move your big, enormous, large, gopher-looking head. Damn! At least my head doesn't look like a football with glasses. No, your head looks like a big meatloaf with raisins. Holy shit! The Reed parents are about to leave for date night when DW comes in crying about her epic failure. Arthur said my face looks like a watermelon except for the bad haircut! The Reed parents ignore this hilarious insult and leave babysitter Catherine to sort out DW's hissy fit. Arthur and DW continue to exchange insults throughout the night, which ends up devolving to the point of the two just shouting the thesaurus at each other. DW nearly gets the better of Arthur until he pulls a 619 by turning DW's own name into an insult. You're such a... Dora Winifred! Catherine does what she should have done in the first place and sends the two to bed. That night... DW has a dream where she gets verbally attacked by Arthur the Grand Wizard. Wait, nope, can't call him that. DW's dear friend Walter tells her she can only defeat her brother with the help of the Great Thesaurus. DW uses dream logic to get to the Thesaurus's castle. You didn't want to watch me walk through the woods, did you? That would be so boring. No, but we definitely wanted to watch you blow your nose for 15 seconds. Turns out, the Tibble Tightwads were turned to stone by evil Arthur's literal insult hurling. Miss Turner guides DW through the castle, passing by several cost-saving stock footage files along the way. DW meets with the Great Thesaurus, who gives her the perfect insult for Arthur. DW goes to use the insult on her brother, which ends up killing him. Ah! DW rightfully shits her pants right when her parents wake her up. DW apologizes to her brother, and the two make up, as DW is glad her nightmare is finally over. Or is it? Let's review. DW foolishly tried to step to Arthur's game and was rightfully put in her place. She tried using a lot of big words to one-up her brother, only to get utterly decimated when he used her own name against her. The only way for DW to beat Arthur was in her dreams, where she ended up killing him. And even after DW learned her lesson and apologized to Arthur, it turns out that none of it even happened. Because Arthur roasted her so hard, he ended up trapping her in an endless nightmare that she hopefully never wakes up from. F U D W. And I say, hey. hey, I have a Patreon. Sign up at patreon.com slash Neff to get your name in the thank you credits, along with early access to every F U D W and the chance to vote for future episodes. If there's a movie or show you'd like me to talk about, top tier patrons can commission a review for my channel. Check out the link in the description to become an F U D W superfan. Also, I'm now on Cameo, so make sure to check out my profile to get a personalized F U video. Next time on F U D W. Which reminds you boys dance divinely. Have fun with your talk tonight. What a bitch. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play.